Metta Pali or Maitri Sanskrit means benevolence, loving-kindness, friendliness, amity, goodwill, and active interest in others. It is the first of the four sublime states Brahmaviharas and one of the ten paramis of the Theravada school of Buddhism. The cultivation of benevolence metta is a popular form of meditation in Buddhism. It is a part of the four immeasurables in Brahmavihara divine abidings meditation. Metta as compassion meditation is often practiced in Asia by broadcast chanting, wherein monks chant for the laity. The compassion and universal loving kindness concept of metta is discussed in the Metta Sutta of Buddhism, and is also found in the ancient and medieval texts of Hinduism and Jainism as metta or maitri. Small sample studies on the potential of loving kindness meditation approach on patients suggest potential benefits. However, peer reviews question the quality and sample size of these studies, then suggest caution. Etymology and meaning Metta is a Pali word, from Maitri itself derived from Mitra which, states Monier Williams, means, "...friendly, amicable, benevolent, affectionate, kind, goodwill", as well as a form of, "...love, amity, sympathy". The term is found in this sense in the Vedic literature, such as the Shatapatha Brahmana and various early Upanishads, and Vedanga literature such as Panini's Astadayi 5.4.36. The term appears in Buddhist texts as an important concept and practice. Buswell and Lopez, as well as Harvey, translate metta as loving kindness. In Buddhist belief, this is a Brahma Vihara or an immeasurable that leads to a meditative state by being a counter to ill will. It removes clinging to negative state of mind by cultivating kindness unto all beings. The far enemy of metta is hate or ill will, a mind state in obvious opposition. The near enemy quality, which superficially resembles metta but is in fact more subtly in opposition to it, is attached greed. Here too, one likes seeing a virtue, but for the wrong reason. Topic: <laughs> Metta meditation. Metta meditation, or often loving kindness meditation, is the practice concerned with the cultivation of metta, i.e., benevolence, kindness, and amity. The practice generally consists of silent repetitions of phrases such as, May you be happy, or May you be free from suffering, for example, directed at a person who, depending on tradition, may or may not be internally visualized. Two different methodological approaches have been discerned in recent review papers practices that focus on compassion and practices focusing on loving kindness. Focusing on compassion means that meditation consists of the wish to relieve a being from suffering, whereas focusing on loving kindness means wishing a being happiness. The practice gradually increases in difficulty with respect to the targets that receive the practitioner's compassion or loving kindness. At first, the practitioner is targeting oneself, then loved ones, neutral ones, difficult ones, and finally all beings, with variations across traditions. A 2015 meta-analysis synthesizing various high-quality experiments on loving-kindness meditation, found a medium-sized improvement to daily positive emotion, with meditation on the loving-kindness aspect of meta having a greater effect than practices with a focus on compassion. The length of time meditating did not affect the magnitude of positive impact of the practice. Origins. <inaudible> <inaudible> Prior to the advent of the Buddha, according to Martin Wiltshire, there existed the traditions of Brahma Loka and meditation with the four virtues of loving kindness, compassion, empathetic joy, and equanimity. The early Buddhist texts assert that pre Buddha ancient Indian sages who taught these virtues were earlier incarnations of the Buddha. Post Buddha, these same virtues are found in the Hindu texts such as verse 1.33 of the Yoga Sutras of Patanjali, wherein the word maitri is synonymous with metta. Loving kindness, maitri, along with compassion and equanimity, are found in the early Upanishads of Hinduism, while loving kindness metta is found in early sutras of Jainism along with compassion, empathetic joy, and equanimity. The ancient Indian Pachekabuddhas mentioned in the early Buddhist suttas, those who lived before the Buddha, mentioned all four immeasurables", and Brahmavihara, and they are claimed in the suttas to be previous incarnations of the Buddha. According to Peter Harvey, the Buddhist scriptures acknowledge that the metta concept containing four Brahmavihara meditation practices, "...did not originate within the Buddhist tradition". 
The Buddha never claimed that the four immeasurables and related metta meditation were his unique ideas, states Harvey Aronson, in a manner similar to cessation, quieting, nirvana. The pre-Buddha Chandogya Upanishad, states Jayatilik, in section 8.15 teaches metta and ahimsa to all creatures claiming that this practice leads to brahmaloka. The shift in Vedic ideas, from rituals to virtues, is particularly discernible in the early Upanishadic thought, and it is unclear as to what extent and how early Upanishadic traditions of Hinduism and Shramanic traditions such as Buddhism and Jainism influenced each other, on ideas such as four immeasurables. Meditation and Brahmavihara. In the Jain text, the Tattvartha Sutra, Chapter 7, Sutra 11, which is accepted by all Jainism sub traditions as authoritative, there is a mention of four right sentiments Maitri, Pramoda, Karnya, Madhyastha. Benevolence towards all living beings, joy at the sight of the virtuous, compassion and sympathy for the afflicted, and tolerance towards the insolent and ill behaved. Buddhist texts In the Pali Canon, the term metta appears in many texts such as the Kakakupama Sutta and Karaniya Metta Sutta. Other canonical materials, such as in the Patisambhidamaga, elaborate on it as a practice. And yet other canonical sources, such as the Abhidhamma, underline the key role of benevolence in the development of wholesome karma for better rebirths. This basic statement of intention and verse can also be found in several other canonical discourses. Topic: <laughs> Karaniya Metta Sutta SN 1.8. Metta or loving kindness here, states Harvey, is a heartfelt aspiration for the happiness of all beings. It is different than lack of ill will, and more an antidote to it, fear and hatred. It is the precept to conquer anger by kindness, conquer the liar by truth, conquer stingy by giving, conquer evil by good, states Harvey. Vathapama Sutta In over a dozen discourses, the following description in English and Pali is provided for radiating loving kindness in six directions. In the canon, this basic formula is expanded upon in a variety of ways. For instance, a couple of discourses provide the following description to gain rebirth in the heavenly realm of Brahma Brahmanam Sahavyataya Mago. What is the path to the company of Brahma? Here a bhikkhu abides pervading one quarter with a mind imbued with benevolence, likewise the second, likewise the third, likewise the fourth, so above, below, around, and everywhere, and to all as to himself, he abides pervading the all-encompassing world with a mind imbued with benevolence, abundant, exalted, immeasurable, without hostility, and without ill will. When the deliverance of mind by benevolence is developed in this way, no limiting action remains there, none persists there. Just as a vigorous trumpeter could make himself or herself heard without difficulty in the four quarters, so too, when the deliverance of mind by benevolence is developed in this way, no limiting action remains there, none persists there. This is the path to the company of Brahma. Patisambhidamaga <laughs> Medakatha <laughs> In the Kudaka Nikaya's Patisambhidamaga, traditionally ascribed to Sariputta, is a section entitled Medakatha piece, 2.4, Story on Loving Kindness. In this instruction, a general formula below, in English and Pali, essentially identical to the aforementioned Kunda Kamaraputta Sutta verse, especially evident in the Pali, is provided for radiating benevolence. In addition, this instruction categorizes 22 ways in which the mind deliverance of benevolence. Metasatovamuti can be radiated with five ways of unspecified pervasion. Anodiso farana, all beings, sab sada, all breathing things, sab pana bhavaparayapana, all creatures, sab buddha bhavaparayapana, all persons, sab pugala bhavaparayapana, all with a personality, sab adabhavaparayapana. Seven ways of specified pervasion. Anodiso Farana, all women, Saba Ithio, all men, Sab Purissa, all noble ones, Sab Ariya, all non noble ones, Sab Anariya, all deities, Sab Deva, all humans, Sab Manusa, all born in lower realms, Sab Vinipadika. Ten ways of directional pervasion. 
Disa Farana, of the eastern direction Desaya, of the western direction Desaya, of the northern direction Desaya, of the southern direction Desaya, of the eastern intermediate direction Anudasaya, of the western intermediate direction Anudasaya, of the northern intermediate direction Anudasaya, hash of the southern intermediate direction Anudasaya, of the downward direction Desaya, of the upward direction Desaya. .Moreover, the direction Directional pervasions can then be applied to each of the unspecific and specific pervasions. For instance, after radiating benevolence to all beings in the East one radiates it to all beings in the West and then North and then South, etc., then, one radiates it to all breathing things in this fashion then all creatures, persons, and so forth until such is extended for all those born in the lower realms. Benefits The Pali Canon says that there are a number of benefits from the practicing of metta meditation, including One sleeps easily, wakes easily, dreams no evil dreams. One is dear to human beings, dear to non-human beings. The devas protect one. Neither fire, poison, nor weapons can touch one. One's mind gains concentration quickly. One's complexion is bright. One dies unconfused and, if penetrating no higher, is headed for reborn in the Brahma worlds. The canon also upholds fully ripened meta development as a foremost antidote to ill will. No other thing do I know, O monks, on account of which unarisen ill will does not arise and arisen ill will is abandoned so much as on account of this, the liberation of the heart by benevolence. For one who attends properly to the liberation of the heart by benevolence, unarisen ill will does not arise and arisen ill will is abandoned. Monks, whatever grounds there are for making merit productive of a future birth, all these do not equal a sixteenth part of the liberation of mind by benevolence. The liberation of mind by benevolence surpasses them and shines forth, bright and brilliant. Metta meditation is regularly recommended to the Buddha's followers in the Pali Canon. The canon generally advises radiating metta in each of the six directions, to whatever beings there may be. A different set of practical instructions, still widely used today, is found in the 5th CE Visuddhimagga. This is also the main source for the near and far enemies given above. In addition, variations on this traditional practice have been popularized by modern teachers and applied in modern research settings. Maitri and Metta Metta is found in pre-Buddhist Vedic Sanskrit texts as Maitri, Maitra and Mitra, which are derived from the ancient root mid love, and these Vedic words appear in the Samhita, Aranyaka, Brahmana and Upanishad layers of texts in the Rigveda, Samaveda, Yajurveda and Atharvaveda. Similarly, the term appears in Hymn 55 of Book 19 of the Atharvaveda, and various Upanishads. A major early Upanishad of Hinduism, named Maitri Upanishad, discusses universal kindness and amity. The Maitri Upanishad, states Martin Wiltshire, provides the philosophical underpinning, by asserting, "...what a man thinks, that he becomes, this is the eternal mystery." This idea, adds Wiltshire, reflects the assumption in the ancient thought that man influences his own environment and situation, causality is equitable, and Good volitional acts conduce pleasant situations, while bad volitional acts conduce unpleasant situations. The Maitri Upanishad teaches, states Juan Mascaro, that peace begins in one's own mind, in one's longing for truth, in looking within, and that, a quietness of mind overcomes good and evil works, and in quietness the soul is one, then one feels the joy of eternity. The Isha Upanishad similarly discusses universal amity and loving kindness, but without the term metta. These teachings of universal maitri influenced Mahatma Gandhi. In Jainism, Yogabindu, the 6th century yoga text by Haribhadra, uses the Sanskrit word maitri in verses 402 to 404, in the sense of loving kindness towards all living beings. <laughs> metta meditation research Some pilot research studies on the effect of metta meditation indicate an increase in positive emotions for practitioners. In particular, an immediate impact on positive emotions after practice as well as a long-term effect could be shown, though these effects might not hold true for everybody. 
In one proof-of-concept study, uncontrolled in sample selection and benchmarking, the researchers report therapeutic potential for psychological problems like depression or social anxiety, when combined with other reliable treatments. Therapeutic potential The application of meta-meditation for the treatment of psychological and other healthcare-related problems is the topic of current research. Hoffman et al. discuss in their paper the potential use for therapy and report insufficient data, with some promising studies so far. Those studies could show a positive impact on problems such as schizophrenia, depression and anxiety. According to Hoffman et al., there needs to be more rigorous research, especially with the application of Buddhist approaches to loving kindness and compassion meditation. In an eight week pilot study in 2005, loving kindness meditation showed reduced pain and anger in people with chronic lower back pain. Compassion meditation, a Science Daily article states, may benefit by reductions in inflammatory and behavioral responses to stress that have been linked to depression and a number of medical illnesses. Caution and reviews Bishop in a 2002 review suggests caution on claims of benefits, and states, "...what has been published has been rife with methodological problems. At present, we know very little about the effectiveness of this mindfulness -loving -kindness -compassion -meditation approach, however, there is some evidence that suggests that it may hold some promise." In a 2014 review of multiple studies, Galandi et al. reach a similar conclusion, stating, "...results were inconclusive for some outcomes, in particular against active controls, the methodological quality of the reports was low to moderate, results suffered from imprecision due to wide cis deriving from small studies," and that, "...the kindness meditation methods show evidence of individual and community benefits through its effects on their well-being and social interaction." See also Agape, philia, eros, Greek terms for love Ahimsa, doctrine of non-harm, especially. Non-violence Brahmavihara Chesed, loving-kindness and compassionate love in Judaism Caritas, Latin term for love Kamatana Love Metta Sutta Theoria, the practice of loving contemplation in eastern christianity yoga sutras a text that includes loving kindness as a part of yoga practice topic notes topic sources acharya buddharakita trans 1987 2006 Kakakupama Sutta, The Parable of the Saw excerpt from Positive Response, How to Meet Evil with Good Bodhi Leaves No. 109. Kandy, Sri Lanka, Buddhist Publication Society 1987. Retrieved from Access to Insight 2006 at http colon slash slash www.accesstoinsight.org slash tipataka slash m and slash m n dot o two one x dot bud dot html Amaravati Sangha, trans. 1994, 2004. Karaniya Metta Sutta, The Buddha's Words on Loving Kindness from Chanting Book, Morning and Evening Puja and Reflections, 1994. Hemel Hempstead, Amaravati Publications. Retrieved 25 November 2007 from Access to Insight 2004 at http colon slash slash www.accesstoinsight.org slash tipataka slash kn slash snp slash snp.1.08. Amar.html, Bodhi, Bhikkhu. 2005. In the Buddha's Words, an anthology of discourses from the Pali Canon. Somerville, MA, Wisdom Publications. ISBN 0-86171-491-1. Buddhahosa, Bhadantakarya and Bhikkhu Nyanamoli trans. 1999. The Path of Purification, Visuddhimagga. Seattle, Washington, BPS Pariyati Editions. ISBN 1-928706-00-2. Gethin, Rupert The Foundations of Buddhism. Oxford, Oxford University Press. ISBN 0-19-289223-1
Gombrich, Richard reprinted 2002. Theravada Buddhism, A Social History from Ancient Benares to Modern Colombo. Routledge, London. ISBN 0-415-07585-8. Harvey, Peter An Introduction to Buddhism, Teachings, History and Practices. Cambridge, Cambridge University Press. ISBN 0-521-31333-3. Monier Williams, Monier 1899, 1964. A Sanskrit English Dictionary. London, Oxford University Press. ISBN 0 198643 x Retrieved 29 April 2008 from Cologne University at http wwwsanskrit lexiconuni conede scan mwiscan indexphp sfx equals pdf, Nyanamoli Thera ed. Trans. 1987–1994. The Practice of Loving Kindness meta, as taught by the Buddha in the Pali Canon the wheel number seven. Kandy, Sri Lanka, Buddhist Publication Society 1987. Retrieved 25 November 2007 from Access to Insight 1994 transcription at http colon slash slash www.accesstoinsight.org slash lib slash authors slash nanamoli slash wheel 007.html, Nyanamoli, Bhikkhu Trans, and Bhikkhu Bodhi ed. 2001. The Middle Length Discourses of the Buddha, a translation of the Majjhima Nikaya. Boston, Wisdom Publications. ISBN 0 86171 072x. Nyanamoli Thera, Trans, and Bhikkhu Kantipalo. Salayaka Sutta, The Brahmins of Sala. MN 41. Retrieved 23 December 2007 from Access to Insight 1994 transcription at http colon slash slash www.accesstoinsight.org slash tipataka slash mn slash mn.041. html. Nyanaponika Thera, trans. 1988-1998. Vathapama Sutta, The Simile of the Cloth MN7 from the Simile of the Cloth and the Discourse on Effacement Wheel No. 61. Kandy, Sri Lanka, Buddhist Publication Society 1988. Retrieved 3 December 2007 from Access to Insight 1998 at http//www.accesstoinsight.org slash tipataka slash mn slash mn.007. nipo.html. Nyanaponika Thera and Bhikkhu Bodhi trans. 1999. Numerical Discourses of the Buddha, an Anthology of Suttas from the Angatara Nikaya, Walnut Creek, CA, Altamira Press. ISBN 0-7425-0405-0. Reese Davids, Caroline A. F. 1900, 2003. Buddhist Manual of Psychological Ethics, of the 4th century BC, being a translation, now made for the first time, from the original Pali, of the first book of the Abhidhamma Pitaka, entitled Dhamma Sangani Compendium of States or Phenomena. Kessinger Publishing. ISBN 0-7661-4702-9. Rhys Davids, T. W. and William Stade eds. 1921–5. The Pali Text Society's Pali English Dictionary. Chipstead, Pali Text Society. Retrieved 29 April 2008 from U. Chicago at http colon slash slash dsal.uchicago.edu slash dictionaries slash poly slash. Salzburg, Sharon. Loving Kindness, The Revolutionary Art of Happiness. Boston, Shambhala Publications. ISBN 1-57062-176-4. Thanissaro Bhikkhu Trans, 1994. Raja Sutta, The King 5.1. Retrieved 25 November 2007 from Access to Insight at http colon slash slash www.accesstoinsight.org slash tipataka slash kn slash ud slash u.5.01. html. Thanissaro Bhikkhu Trans, 1997a. Kunda Kamaraputta Sutta, to Kunda the Silversmith and 10.176. Retrieved 25 November 2007 from Access to Insight at http colon slash slash www.accesstoinsight.org slash tipataka slash and slash and 10 slash and 10.176.html. 
Thanissaro Bhikkhu trans 1997b Meta Matani Samsa Sutta Goodwill and 11.16 Retrieved the 7th of July 2010 from Access to Insight at http colon slash slash org slash tipataka slash and slash and eleven slash and eleven dot o one six dot than dot html. Trungpa, Chogyam, nineteen ninety three. Training the mind and cultivating loving kindness. Boston, Shambhala. ISBN o eight seven 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 three nine five four four. Upadisa, Arahant, N R M. Ahara trans, Soma Thera trans, and Keminda Thera trans, 1995. The Path of Freedom Vimadimaga. Kandy, Sri Lanka, Buddhist Publication Society. ISBN 955-24-0054-6. Walsh, Maurice 1995. The Long Discourses of the Buddha, a translation of the Diga Nikaya. Somerville, M.A., Wisdom Publications. ISBN 0 86171 103 3. Warder, A. K. 1970, reprinted 2004. Indian Buddhism. Mudalal Banarsidas, Delhi. ISBN 81 208 1741 9. External links Brahmavihara Dhamma by Mahasi Sayada An essay on Metta by Acharya Buddharakita The Metta Sutta Dharma Dictionary, Rangjungyashewiki, Byams Pa, Maitri Facets of Metta by Sharon Salzberg Matthew Ricard talks about his lifelong practice of compassion meditation